Hi everyone, welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today I am just going to do a quick little talk and show you some things and unboxing kind of a thing. Um, I've done this video several times and didn't like it. I have no makeup on. You guys are seeing me in my absolute worst. I've been packing. I've got garbage by the door. This is one of my first paintings that I ever did that's sitting in there. <laughs> It was like a copy of a Carrie Evanson painting, I think it was. And um, back when I was acrylic painting, I did it. Oh my goodness, that's a... Hear that bird? Oh, I just love it, you guys. Spring is here. It's 65 out. I've got my windows open. I'm just so excited. Those of you in the South might think I'm not thinking 65, but we open our windows a lot quicker than that. I had them open up north the other day and it was like uh, supposed to be in the high 50s. It got into the 60s and I was like, that's it, I'm opening my windows. So, But anyway, the first thing I want to show you is something by a guy named Daryl Standing, S-T-A-N-D-I-N-G, just like standing up, uh, like the verb. Um, he is not from the U.S. I'm not sure whereabouts he's from, but I ordered a leather pouch from him. If you're vegan, you don't want to go to his site because he's a leather maker kind of guy. So he does wallets and, and brush cases and pencil cases and all sorts of stuff. So I got this, this case in this leather, and it's the kind that scratches, and I love that. Um, it's got three pouches. There's two snapping pouches on each side. I've got water brushes in here, all sorts of stuff. And then in the middle, I have some of my favorite brushes that I use all the time in here. And right now, I think I've got about 15 brushes in here, maybe less. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, exactly. Um, so there's 15 brushes in here. And... They all fit very well. Short-handled brushes fit very well. So I wanted to show you that. And on either side of this pouch, I have things like my water brushes, my my um, um, travel brushes, my Kalinsky or my Kalinsky, my silver black velvet brushes. I'm sorry, you guys. I got a headache again today. Of course, always something. So um, anyway, I've got those in there. And then on the other side of this pouch. I keep my synthetic brushes that I like to use for my gouache painting. Um, now, as you know, I do use my sables and squirrels for my gouache painting as well, but usually in the later layers, I start to switch over to synthetics. And so I have all my synthetic brushes that I use in there as well. I'm going to be doing a um, video very soon, hopefully, on my favorite brushes so that you guys can see what they are. But I have several new ones. So that's what I want to show you today. Oh, hang on. Oh, I got it. I had to throw the ball for the dog. This one is one that I got just uh, last week or two weeks ago. I can't remember because I haven't been able to paint. But it is made by Blick. So if you're familiar with Dick Blick's um, art website, uh, they do have a series of brushes that are Blick brushes. There's one that's uh, studio brushes, and this is the Blick Studio line, and it's Kalinsky Sable. It's a round number 10, and it has such a fine point on it. I absolutely love it. You can do an entire painting with this brush. It's a great brush, and I'm really happy with it. It's got a wood handle, but it's very well coated. Um, nice heavy-duty enamel coating on that paint there. So I'm going to be doing some painting with this very soon, hopefully, if I ever get to paint again. My real estate agent's coming over tomorrow, so um, she's going to be taking some photos, or not photos, she's going to be doing measurements. She wanted to do photos, and I said, we're not ready for photos yet. But as you can see, my art studio is pretty empty. In fact, um, I will give you a panoramic view and you can see what's left in my art studio from where it was before. If you guys know my art studio, you know how much stuff I cram in my art studio. So I will piece in a little 360 view for you right here. It may look like some to some of you like there's a lot of stuff here, but my Art studio was jam-packed. The floors were covered with stuff. The 
The shelves in these cabinets were absolutely filled with things. The closet was filled. The, all my jewelry supplies from jewelry making were underneath there in boxes, plastic totes. So everything's pretty much gone except for a few paintings and some watercolor supplies and my uh, whatever that thing's called, my little cart there. I forget what they're called, the Ikea cart. But that is it. Okay, and now I'm going to open this. This just came today. I couldn't figure out what it was because it was all wrapped up. And then I saw R and C O, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is Rosemary and Company. I had forgotten that I had ordered some brushes from them. So I'm, I love the way they wrap things up like a present for you, too. It's so nice. But um, anyway, let me go ahead and open this, and we will see what's inside. I'm going to be seeing a hand specialist for my hand pretty soon because I'm getting to the point where I can't use it anymore. But before I do that, I have to see a dermatologist because I've got moles. Well, they're like blue and black moles on the palms of my hand. Bad, bad indicator for melanoma. So I'm hoping it isn't melanoma. But as a nurse, I know what it could be. These ones are real little. You can see the blue, the blue spots. They look like... They look like ink on my hands. Those are moles. I don't have them have them uh, focused very well. And then I have one right here on the palm of my hand too, which is black. Not good. So I got to go see a dermatologist first before I go see the hand surgeon because it's all on the same hand. So keep me in your prayers. Hopefully it's not melanoma. But uh, as a nurse possibility can be pretty high when you see those kinds of moles. Where are my scissors? Here they are. I cleaned so much. I have everything packed. I have almost nothing left here. I've done videos before that I wanted to post and I can't post them because then I want to show you something and it's in a box packed. So that's not going to help me at all. But, um, but I can't get this tape off of here. Hang on you guys. Holy smokes, come on. There we go. I think I got it enough now. Sort of, maybe not. There it goes, ouch. All right, this box is heavy. I don't even remember what I ordered. Well, I got a sticker and a thank you. And of course, a catalog. That's what it is, the catalog is thick. Holy smokes, it's a heavy catalog. I don't know if you can opt out of those or not. There's four of them in here. Holy smokes. And three little brushes. Oh, I remember what I ordered now. These are, um, I think they're sable. Yeah, they're sable brushes. And this one is a number eight. It's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. And it's called a dragon's tongue brush. Just pop the cap off there. But it's shaped like like a um, cat's tongue, only it's longer. It's a lot longer. Um, let's see how it springs back. Oh, it's got great spring to it. Good snap for a sable. That's great to see. And uh, it seems to hold its shape pretty well. So I will have to try that one. So that's the first one that I got. I will keep you posted on these. And then I got two more rounds. Um, these are their Series 323, and I got some detail brushes. I love my detail brushes. They're spotters, sometimes you hear them called. So um, I wanted to get a couple more. And the one I have, I believe, is in number six. It's not by Rosemary and Company, though. It's a different different maker. Uh, this one is a number eight. And, oh, look at the point on that. It's got a great point. Let me zoom you in here. Very nice point. Although it's got a little bend at the top, and I hope that is not an indicator that it's going to be staying that way. Let me just get this gummy a bit out of here as I reach for my water. No, it's straightened right out. Good, I think. So hard to see. Especially when I have lights shining in my eyes. But 
this point goes on and on and on and on. You can't even see the top of it because it's blurring, but it goes way up to here. That's the tip of the point on this brush right up there. But then I also got a number two um, detailer. Now, I don't know why I got such a small detailer. I'm not really sure because I would probably use a script brush normally because a brush this small won't hold much paint but it might be good for fine hairs or something like that I don't know but anyway so those are the three new brushes I got I'm gonna try those out very soon and um, I will keep you posted as to um, how well I like them the one thing that I don't like about Rosemary and Company is the way their numbers wear off, but these feel like they're indented into the wood. So maybe they've changed that instead of them being just painted on the outside, they're actually kind of stamped in and painted. So hopefully the numbers will stay on here because my other ones, they did not. So um, those are my three new brushes. Well, actually my four new brushes and my new pouch. So um, that's all I wanted to show you guys. And I'm going to be painting with these. Hopefully at some point in my life I'll be able to paint again. And um, I can get them up for you and show you how they work. I did do a quickie, uh, like a 25-minute painting this morning. I've been all blurred up this whole time. I apologize, you guys. Um, I will show you this again since it was blurred. This is a... Um, card that I did on video today that I'll be posting a video for. It's a loose style card. So anyway, that's it, you guys. And um, now it's back to packing again. Oh, I'm so tired of packing. Oh, I think we have to postpone our list date by a week. We were supposed to list next Monday. But we have to go up north this Wednesday. So we lose Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to work on our house here, five days. So um, we're gonna have to tack on another five days on the other end. But my real estate agent is coming over tomorrow to do room dimension measurements, and then she'll come back next week to do photos, and then we will be ready to list it. Maybe we'll be able to list it by the end of next week. Who knows? That'd be great if we could get it up before the weekend. If we have showings over the weekend and we're not here, that would be terrific. And it could sell. Our last house sold on the second showing within 24 hours. And we were um, going up north. We had just bought our property up north, the house where we're moving to now. And we were um, on our way out of town. It was an Easter weekend. And uh, they, I don't know, it might not have been Easter weekend, maybe spring break or something. Anyway, we got a call. So we had all this furniture and crud in this trailer. We looked like the Beverly Hillbillies because we were taking it up north to our other place. And um, we got a call that somebody had put an offer in and we asked about the offer and it was our asking price. So we said, okay, well, we'll accept it. But then we're like, we don't have a place to move to. Oh my gosh. So then we started hustling and that's when we ended up moving here because we could get in quick and it was painless and everything for the most part. So um, actually we had to wait for the, pre the previous owners here to move out. They were paying us rent and they weren't getting out of the house and we were starting to get upset with them So um, because we needed to get out of our house so the other people could move in where we were at. But um, anyway, long story, and now here I am, so I'm hoping this house will sell that quickly, too. We'll see. Anyway, everybody, remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, most of all, be kind to each other, have a great, terrific spring.